you. In this video, I'll be walking through how to perform a basic installation of Kasten to a Kubernetes cluster using a Helm chart. Currently, I see my cluster includes two application namespaces and no Kasten namespace. I already have Helm installed on my client machine, so I'll begin by adding charts.kasten.io as an available Helm repository. But before I jump into the install, I'll first run an optional step, the primer script, on my cluster. This is going to run a temporary job used to validate cluster configuration basics and includes an inventory of all available storage provisioners and storage classes. Here we see the primer script has identified that the volume snapshot class associated with my CSI based provisioner is missing the annotation that Kasten requires in order to identify what volume snapshot class should be used to request snapshots for a specific provisioner. While this annotation isn't required to perform my installation, I will need to set it before attempting any backups, so let's fix that now. Optionally, I can also perform an additional check to validate my CSI provisioner can successfully create and restore from volume snapshots. To do this, you'll first need to download the K10 tools binary from the Kasten external tools repository on GitHub. And once you've extracted that package, the documentation provides instruction on all of the various different config checks that can be performed with K10 tools. To run the CSI check, I need to create a configuration file that specifies which storage class I'd like to test, along with the user ID that the test pod should run as when it's deployed to the cluster. Next, I'll run K10 tools primer storage check CSI and pass in the config file that I just created. We can see the test provisions a pod with an attached PVC, attempts to perform a snapshot of that PVC, and then creates a second pod in PVC using the volume snapshot to provision that second persistent volume claim. We see our test was successful, and if I swap over to my watch tab, that the test resources are being cleaned up. So this is a good test to perform if you're working with a new or updated CSI and want to validate it is properly implemented snapshot capabilities independent of your cast and install. I'll now start a watch to be able to monitor the status of my cast and deployment. And then we'll go ahead and initiate our Helm install using default settings and deploying cast and to the cast and hyphen IO namespace. Once the command returns, we can swap back to the watch statement to monitor the deployment of all of the various cast and microservices. In other videos within this series, I'm going to be exploring alternate configurations that require setting additional Helm flags. A complete list of available Helm options, descriptions, and their default settings can be found at docs.casten.io or you can use install.casten.io to interactively configure Helm settings and produce a valid installation command. Checking back on our current install, it looks like all of our services have now reached a ready state. So I'll use the command generated by the chart to create a port forward in order to access my Casten dashboard, which by default isn't exposed externally on your cluster's network. In later videos, we'll look at additional options for exposing the dashboard in a more permanent fashion. And that's it. We can see our applications have been discovered. Now I'm ready to add a location profile to define where to send my backup data. Be sure to check out other videos in this series for more examples of how to get started using Kasten and visit the link on screen to claim your free Kasten license today.